Hi everyone, this is Morta. The robotic voice that will teach you everything you need to know about After Effects. Before we start make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want the project file you can find it in the description. Today I am going to teach you how to make this. Let's start by creating a new black solid for the background. Then let's create another one for the particle. Go to effects and search for the CC particle system 2. First let's start by adjusting the particles. Go to producer and change the radius X to 350 and the radius Y to 300. Reduce the birth rate to 0 0.5. Go to Particle and change the colors. Change the Particle Type to Shaded Sphere. I don't like the colors so I'm going to change them a bit. Increase the birth rate to 2.5. Reduce the birth and death size. Drag the logo into the composition. Go to 7 seconds and keyframe the scale as you want it to be at the end of the logo reveal. Create a new solid for the firing. Go to the ellipse tool and draw a mask over your logo. Go to effect and search for the Saber effect, it's a free plugin by Video Copilot. Apply Saber to the ring solid, then customize core and change the core type to layer masks. Now change the presets to fire. Keyframe the firing scale at 7 seconds like we did to the logo. Select both layers, go to 4 seconds, and increase the scale by 15%. Go to the start of the composition and change it to 0. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. Mm -hmm. 
switch to the graph editor and make sure you are working with the speed graph. Change the graphs like this. Now we have the base of our animation, but I think it's too flat. Keyframe the rotation of the firing at the start, then go to 7 seconds and increase it to 1. So we have the ring rotating while it reveal. The animation feels better but the logo is still flat. Go to the start and keyframe the logo opacity to zero. Move to 4 seconds and make it 100%. And at 7 seconds change it to 90%. That's better. Let's add a new black solid. Go to the ellipse tool and double click to make a vignette. Go to the mask and invert it. Open the mask settings, change the mask feather to 275 and the mask expansion to 125. Select the same solida, go to the rectangle tool, and double click. Select the new rectangle, and change its height like this, then invert it. Let's collapse everything and see what we got. The firing needs some work. Keyframe the glow intensity at 3 seconds, then go to the start and make it 0. Do the same thing to the core size. Go to the effects and search for CC Light Sweep under the Generate tab.
Apply to the logo. Move the center and change the direction. Change the light reception to cut out and increase the width. I usually mess around with all the settings. One thing I like to do is to keyframe all settings at the start, then go to the end and increase them all. One last thing I'm going to do and it's to change the color to orange. If you watch this video to the end, Thank you and don't forget to subscribe because there is much to come. You can download the project file at the description.